Hey guys, what's up? This is Manny with Tropical Glitz and today we're going to be talking about our chameleon paint. We have a perfect project we're going to work on. We're going to go through all the steps from preparing it, shooting the ground coat, shooting the chameleon and clear coat. So stay tuned to this video and watch what we do. So this project was previously painted with our paint and we're going over it with a 600 grit uh, sandpaper from Indasa. You're going to notice that there's no need for primer since the previous surface is in great condition and we're just going to give it a mechanical sand so we can apply our abyss black. Now notice we're going with an Indasa sanding sponge. This sponge is amazing. This gets into all the weird spaces, gives me a great uniform, even sand. It makes life so much easier. So here we're applying pre-cleaner. We're making sure we have enough pre-cleaner on this project to get rid of any of the sanding dust. Notice how I fold this and I'm wiping in one direction. Very important to make sure our surface is completely clean. And this is so crucial to a great paint job. So here's our abyss black. This is a beautiful deep black, no blue, no brown, just a rich concentrated black. We're gonna mix it to our two ounce marker. You're gonna notice this is a one to one mix ratio. We're gonna use medium reducer for our current temperature here. It's very important to use the correct temperature reducer for your climate. So we're gonna be using a 1.4 LPH 400 from Awada. We're gonna adjust our fan to a six inch fan and shoot at a six inch distance. We're gonna now start cutting in into all the hard to reach places first. We're gonna give this two coats, even though with one coat we get full coverage, but we wanna make sure it looks gorgeous. Oops, well that wasn't supposed to happen. Oops, well that wasn't supposed to happen. Very important, make sure your project is tied properly. So it's really important to give your project the proper flash time. It can be anywhere from five to 15 minutes, depending on your temperature. So here we're mixing Apollo, chameleon color. This is a one to one mix ratio. We're gonna go into two ounces of material. If you notice, we went over by a hair, but we're gonna compensate that with the reducer to make sure we have equal amounts of product. So for this project, we're gonna be using our LPH 400. It's a 1.4 tip and we're going to start with all the tight edges first. It's really important to have a nice uniform coverage on this color. Chameleon colors are recommended to be shot over a black base. So on this one, we're using our bis black that we already properly flashed. Really important. You want a 75% overlap on your fan to make sure you have a nice uniform color. So look how nice and smooth. So the biggest thing with any chameleon, especially our chameleons, that after you do your, your initial coats, you don't want too much product at the, all at one time. You wanna make sure you dust on and it's nice thin coats. That's how you get a really nice uniform pearl vibrance look to it. For our clear coat today, it's gonna to be Southern Polyurethane Production Clear. This is a four to one medium solid clear. So we're gonna go four parts clear in our mixing cup. And then we're gonna come right behind with one part activator and we use these mixing cups to make sure we have the proper mix ratio. And like before, we always start with all the hard to reach places first. We're gonna apply two to three coats of this uh, product onto it make sure we have a nice uniform finish. Very important to always wear protective equipment. Notice I'm wearing my gloves and my respirator. All right, guys, you saw the process. We went through that guitar. We sanded everything with a 600 grit in Dasa sandpaper. Then we went over it with a coat, two coats of our Abyss Black. That's very important. That's the ground coat that you need for these chameleons. And then we went over that with Apollo. Now, Apollo, we were very careful. You want to control your fan, close it a little bit and pull it back. You don't want that much material. You want it to have a nice silky surface. 
And the most important thing, everything that you see in our video is available on our website, tropicalglitz.net. And if you have any questions, just ask.